Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how you can convert LaTeX files into Microsoft Word files. Now, why would you wanna do this? Well, unfortunately, there are some journals that will only accept submissions as Microsoft Word files. And this can be annoying because you can have papers, like this is an example that I'm gonna use, that have enough math where converting this into Microsoft Word by copying and pasting would be really annoying. Um, especially here if I go to the, the kind of appendix area where I have some proofs and other things. Um, there's enough math that I do not wanna to have to copy this by hand and do this manually. So instead what we're gonna use is a package called Pandoc that will handle this conversion for us. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get a hold of our source files. Now, if you're not using something like Overleaf, if you have the tech file on your computer, you wanted to do this, but because I'm using Overleaf for this, I'm gonna go ahead and click on menu and click on source. And I'm just gonna go ahead and download it to my downloads folder and go ahead and extract it. And as you see here in the folder, there are two files. And this is the simplest case I can think of where there's a main document file, a main.tech, which is just the raw tech. And then there's a bib file, which contains all the references. Now this is from Zotero, so it's really big, but we're gonna need both because we need to tell Pandoc that we're using a references file. So these are gonna be the two files that we need. Again, it's okay if you have a lot of auxiliary files, other figures and things, you just need to know which one is kind of your main document file that we're gonna be using. So. Let's go ahead and install Pandoc. Now, if we go over here and I'll provide a link here, you can actually install it directly from the installer that they provide by just clicking here and going through it. If you're on Mac like I am, I find it easier to just use Homebrew. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new terminal window and I'm just gonna go ahead and type brew install Pandoc. And of course I've already installed it, so <laughs> it's not actually gonna install, but this is how you would do it if you're on Mac using Homebrew. If you're on Windows, again, you can just download the package like this, or you can use some other package manager to do it. The other thing that we're gonna use is this, what's called a Pandoc filter. And the one I'm gonna use is something called Pandoc Crossref. Now, Pandoc filters are used in the conversion process. Pandoc basically, it you know, pan being like all, what it's doing, it's converting from one document type to another, and it has all these different formats you can do. But there are filters you can use that basically tell Pandoc, hey, as you're doing the conversion, provide this functionality or do this thing. And there's a filter that I wanna use called pan.crossref. And the reason for this is, if you look here in my document, there are times I'm actually referencing other areas of the document. Um, so for instance, here is, here's a case where I say, this statement is proven in appendix A, and I actually provide a reference to a section label. So I do this in LaTeX so that I don't have to like renumber everything if I add a new section or I wanna reorder sections, it's handled by the LaTeX backend. So in order for this to show up correctly in Word, we need to provide this pan.crossref crossref filter. Now there are a lot of ways you can install this. If you're on Windows, you can use Scoop, but again, being on Mac OS, it's nice and easy, we can just use brew. So what I'm gonna say is brew install pandoc dash crossref, and this will go ahead and install the filter for us. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this and let's go ahead and navigate to the folder where I have my source file. So I'm gonna go ahead and say CD, change directory and go ahead and find where basically that folder is. So we're gonna do that. And if I list the files, I have my main.tech and my references.bib. There's one more file we need and this is what's called a CSL. This is going to be a way that we specify to Pandoc what format we're trying to use to format the references when we create the Word document. So what I'm gonna do, I like using IEEE. So what I'm gonna do is just type in IEEE.CSL for the citation language style or the citation style language. And there's this nice GitHub link you can find here. I'll post a link here in the description that has basically all of the possible citation style languages you could imagine for pretty much anything. So if you're using Chicago, you find the Chicago one. Um, I like using IEEE. And you can just find the one that you want and click download raw file here. And I'm just gonna put this in the same directory as my main.tech and my references.bib. So we're going to see them here. Now let's go ahead and handle the actual conversion. So I'm going to go back to terminal and I'm going to go ahead and first start by, well, let's make sure pandoc was installed correctly. Type which pandoc. Sure enough, it finds it in there. So let's go ahead and clear the window and I'm gonna go ahead and type in the main command that will do the conversion for me. So what I'm gonna do is say pandoc and now we're gonna type in the name of my main tech file, my main document file that I'm trying to convert. So mine is called main.tech, so I'm gonna put that in there. 
And here's where we're gonna specify that we wanna use that cross ref filter. So the way we do this is we say dash dash filter, I wanna use this filter, and the one that I wanna use is pandoc dash cross ref. Now I'm gonna specify my bibliography file, which is in my references.bib. So I'm gonna say dash dash bibliography equals, and then the name of my references file. So mine is just references.bib, nice and easy because it's here in the same folder. And here's also where I want to say that I'm using a citation style language file to provide the format of my bibliography. This is really important so that your actual citations show up correctly. So what I'm gonna do is say dash dash cite proc using the citation procedure, dash dash CSL, and then the name of my CSL file that I wanna use, which in my case is IEEE.CSL. And that's basically saying, look, while you're doing this conversion, use this for my citation format as we're going through this. And lastly, we need to specify the output file. So I'm gonna say dash O, and we're gonna call this result, you can call it whatever you want, dot docx. Again, this is the file format that we're using. We're converting this to a Microsoft Word document type. So this is the command that I'm gonna be entering to do the conversion. I'm gonna hit enter, and it's gonna go ahead and do it. And sure enough, in my folder here, I see a result dot docx. Now let's double click and take a look at what it did, at kind of the resulting document. Well, sure enough, what you see here is it's converted the document, it's converted a lot of the math symbols. Let's go ahead to the appendix and make sure it gets everything that I wanted it to. Yep, sure enough, it's gotten all the math and converted them into Microsoft Word, saving me a ton of time. And you'll notice it's gotten the references as well. It's filled those in and it's basically put them in um, into this references format. Now, it may not do everything always perfectly, but this will save you a lot of time. There is one thing it does not do, and that is if you label equations, they will not be labeled correctly. In fact, there's an example here in this document where I reference, I try to reference this equation, EQ Bayes theorem, and this didn't get referenced correctly. So that's one thing, there's not really equation labeling in Word, so this is one of the problems that shows up when you're trying to convert to Word. But what I can do here is just kinda <laughs> delete this, um, and that's fine. For, for you, you may need to reference a certain section or do something else, but that's typically my whole thing. So again, it's really important going through and, and making sure the document got converted correctly, but notice how e easy this was. I didn't really have to do a lot of other extra work copying, especially those equations. This gives me a really good starting point. And from here, of course, I can just kind of format this as needed and then submit it to the journal as needed. Now, one other thing I'll say, I was kind of inspired by this guy, Zaylin Chen, who has a similar process of converting LaTeX to Microsoft Word files. What he provides is rather than providing a CSL file as I'm doing here, he uses a dash dash reference docx, like a reference document format. So if your journal provides you with an actual reference file, what you can do when you're calling this pandoc command is you can say dash dash reference dash docx equals, and you can say like, for instance, IEEE underscore template dot doc. So if, if your journal that you're wanting to submit to provides an actual template document, you can actually submit that in there and it'll actually try to, you know, follow the formatting as close as possible to the document that you provide. But not all journals, in fact, most of the journals I've encountered don't provide something like that, especially because most of them allow you to submit in LaTeX. But this is another way you can do this as well. So anyway, hopefully you found this helpful. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. And otherwise, have a good one and I will see you in the next video.